Before we look at the gear, let's look at some simple physics. A brick and two balls. If I had to throw one of these balls at this brick and knock it down, I'm not going to choose the ping pong ball. It's just going to bounce off. I'm going to choose the baseball. Much more chance. And what that means very simply is mass moves mass. That's something you should take into account when you fish streamers. And, and I'll tell you why, because you saw some of these big streamers we put on this Dolly Lama we talked about earlier, super heavy streamer, lot of weight to it. So to cast a, a streamer of this kind of size, you absolutely need some special kind of outfits for it. Mass moves mass. That means to throw a heavier fly, I need a heavier line. A heavier line means it needs a stiffer rod. This is a six weight. And your, your standard trout outfits for most anglers are going to be nine foot rods, maybe in a five weight size. But for streamer fishing, you most certainly want to start with a six weight and maybe even a seven weight if you're going to fish really big and heavy streamers. You need a lot more weight, not just in the rod, you need a rod to throw that heavier fly line. That fly line is what's the engine that's turning over and moving your fly. So a heavier line needs a more powerful rod. This, as you can say, is a six weight. This is a predator line. When you kind of take a look at the back end and you look at the what's called the front taper here, you can see this front taper is three foot long. That's incredibly short, that's awesome. It means the weight of the line is close to the weight of the fly. It makes casting streamers so much easier. And whilst we're talking about lines, the other thing you can definitely do when you get into streamer fishing is you get a sink tip line. And this is a sink tip line. This is, five, this is a 6F slash S6. It means it's floating line with a sinking tip, the front end sinks. And sinking tips are very, very good tools, streamer fishing, particularly in a colder months when you need to get a little bit of depth. So as you get into streamer fishing, you probably want to get yourself into a streamer tip. Either way, you definitely want to get yourself a fly line that's got a bit more weight and a shorter front taper. And whilst on the topic of moving weight, that also applies to your leader. A lot of people forget about the leader. And when you're fishing streamers, mass moves mass, you want a leader that's really short. This is six foot long. Perfect. It means my fly is pretty close to my fly line. So the heavy fly line easily moves that heavy fly. So generally speaking, when you fish streamers, you don't want long leaders. You don't want supple leaders either. This thing's called a big nasty. It's a medium stiff nylon. So there's enough energy in that nylon to turn over the bigger streamers. So if you really get into streamer fishing and you want to get the specialty gear that will really help you out, you can't get away with your just standard nine foot five weight and regular nine foot five X leaders. You've got to get some specialty tackle for that. And once you've got that tackle, well, you've got to rig it up. So in our next chapter, let's look at a few streamer rigs that I like to use on the water.